Yeah, what would you say? What is the Finnish uh, uh, taste based on your gastronomy? What are the mm. trends and wine styles that are uh, more popular or easier to understand? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, historically, there was a lot of medium sweet white wine drink here in in uh, end of 90s still. Uh, then then I think from that on, the wi- white wine style has has gone drier and drier. And I would say that last five years, the big trend has been Riesling, which is enormous boom. I think that is the most requested wine quality here. Overall wines, uh, people want to drink Riesling. So that is uh, very popular. People want to buy dry, but then they want to drink medium dry. Uh, I don't know if you, <laughs> but so, so yeah. they always ask for dry because it maybe sounds a bit more healthy. But then uh, when you give them, if I'm pouring wine for my friends and if you give them a really good medium dry Riesling I think they are all like what is this it works so well with the food and whatever so they this is what they want to drink anyway dry Riesling then red wines people in Finland are are quite full-bodied style so so they are I think uh, it's easier to approach wines with the richer body and 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 quite mellow and and less austere but I would say that last Five years, even that is going to a little bit more lighter. So there is more interest to Pinot Noir, more interest to maybe natural wines, more uh, interest towards cooler climate wines, or maybe more traditional wines. So people have started to appreciate also acidity and austerity in wines. So they don't need to all be rich and full and really big, but but still a lot of lot of quite uh, full-bodied red wine is consumed here. But as, especially in the resta- restaurants, they are uh, they are drinking more, let's say, traditional or finer or elegant reds. Uh, Rosé wine is, is now booming, but it's it's still a couple of percent as a market uh, share, but but increasing every summer. And, and now we even get to sell some some Rosé wines over winter, but but mostly Rosé mm. wine is a summer summer drink. And Prosecco is the okay. biggest sparkling wine. It used to be Cava, but mm. now it's Prosecco. Uh, well, how did it change? What was uh, that? I think it it's to do with the more fresher style. I think Kava is, is mm. more a bit more serious. You have a bit more yeah. this yeasty character, bottle uh, fermented uh, notes, uh, and then Prosecco is more food forward, easy to appreciate, and yeah. I, I think it also became. Be, there is a lot of beer consumption and then also was a lot of cider consumption. So I think Prosecco has replaced some of that, especially amongst mm. women. So when you go bar or nightclub, you might take a glass of sparkling. And I mm-hmm. think Prosecco was working much better than than Gava for that. So I think this is why Prosecco is maybe maybe bigger. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.